again, you have to keep those core items uh, on the agenda. So that that's, and again, going back to it, we use analytics uh, to really keep the trends of, of the topics folks are most interested in about. Well, it's great to hear that, that, you know, event planner and team are behaving much like practitioners because we're doing the same thing on this end is really looking at the risk and analytics, right? It's a little bit of a different lens, yeah. um, but certainly aligned. And, and many of us, it seems like, are using the same tools. I also really like that you stress that you're really holding to the bedrock you know, foundational elements of the work while keeping an eye on what is evolving in the space as well. And I think that makes a lot of sense so that you're really providing a wide variety of potential attendees, uh, hopefully all attendees, um, you know, things that they would be interested in. So either refreshing or building skills and then hearing about and trying to think about what's coming next. So I really like that approach. The other thing that I've really noticed is that we're seeing more and more, which is a great thing to me, people of various backgrounds attending the conferences. And I think that's really a great change and evolution overall. Can you share just some anecdotes or stories that you've heard from individuals about the benefits of attending the conference? Well, the the D and I issue and the the diversity is very very passionate, uh, or I'm very passionate about it. Uh, I I believe in continuous learning and opportunities for all in a diverse setting, uh, and diversity is one of the biggest goals here at DRJ. Diversity in all aspects, not the traditional ones that come to mind when you hear that word of 